Good morning, ACHS. This is Gabe with your morning announcements. Seniors, please check your ACHS email this week on Thursday for the links to nominate and vote for homecoming candidates. The form for nominations will be open from 8 a.m. until 3.10 p.m. Thursday. No late votes will be accepted, so please make sure to log in and take care of that. If you have any questions, please ask Ms. Adams. In other news, if you want to be a part of the bass fishing team, then we'll meet on Wednesday night at 6.30 p.m. in Mr. Snodgrass's room. On to your weather. Good morning, Bearcats. Here's your weather for the day. Today is going to be mostly cloudy with a high of 66 and a low of 56. We will have a 0% chance of rain and wind will be up by 16 miles per hour. The hottest day around it in today is going to be around 3 p.m., 65 degrees. That's it for your weather. On to your next segment. Good morning, Bearcats. We have no new COVID updates at the moment. On to your next segment. Hi. Welcome to a little positive info, because we can all use some optimism. Germany's most prominent hard coal power plant will be decommissioned as part of the country's coal exit to become a production site for renewable hydrogen. Oil majors Shell, Mitsubishi, Heavy Industries, Municipal Heat Supplier Warm Hamburg, and Swedish utility Vattenfall signed a letter of the intent for construction of an electrolyzer with a 100 megawatt capacity at the site of the Moorberg power plant, which is owned by Vattenfall, and was taken off the grid at the turn of the year after entering full operation as of late 2015. The partnered companies plan to develop a green energy hub at Moorberg to investigate the extent to which the plant's existing infrastructure can be used to generate renewable energy. The project is likely to kick off in the course of 2025 and would be one of the largest hydrogen plants in Europe. The Moorberg site has the infrastructure needed for large-scale production of hydrogen from renewable energy such as offshore wind. The project would demonstrate to Europe and the world that hydrogen economy is real and can contribute significantly to the declaration of energy system and heavy industry. After a first round of decommissioning auctions, Moorberg was among the first coal power plants to stop selling electricity in Germany on the country's path towards a complete end to coal-fired power production by 2038 at the very latest, as defined in the country's coal exit law. This has been a little positive info. Look me on the right side with you. Now to your next segment. If any teacher, staff, or students have anything they'd like to be announced, please email us at bearcatbroadcast at anderson.kyschools.us. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.